Pediatricians across the country are sounding the alarm about children's mental health. Here in San Diego, Rady Children's Hospital is reporting a double digit increase in ER visits during the pandemic with kids suffering from depression, anxiety and suicidal thoughts. The problem has become so bad the American Academies of Pediatrics, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, as well as the Children's Hospital Association declared it a national emergency. Even before the pandemic, children's mental health has been increasing at a very fast rate. Adding in the layer of the pandemic for the last two years, we've seen a dramatic increase. Dr. Willow Jenkins is a child and adolescent psychiatrist. She's also the inpatient medical director of psychiatry at Rady Children's Hospital, where the number of kids visiting the emergency room for mental health has risen 25%. When I started this work, we'd rarely see a child under 12 who would be talking about suicide, and now it's Commonplace. So we frequently have children as young as eight in our emergency room talking about suicide. Nationally, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says compared to 2019, in 2020, ER visits for mental health rose by 24% for children between the ages of 5 and 11 and 31% for those 12 to 17. Teenage girls are especially at risk with suspected suicide, up 51% for those between 12 to 17. Among children under the age of 18, mental health needs are now in California the leading cause of hospitalization. Tristan Stein is a project manager with the Little Hoover Commission. The bipartisan state oversight group released a study about COVID's impact on kids' mental health, saying while the state is investing more than $4 billion to address the problem, there needs to be better leadership and partnerships among schools, providers, and health plans to ensure kids' needs are actually being met. California's system of children's mental health is extremely fragmented, it's extremely decentralized, it's extremely complicated. Still, there is hope. Most childhood mental illness is treatable and we have safe, established, effective treatments. At Radies, for example, there's a pediatric psychiatry emergency room and every child who comes into the hospital, no matter the reason, is provided with a depression screening. Dr. Jenkins says parents can also contact their child's pediatrician, school counselor, or dial 211 for county-provided services. First and foremost, so she advises, talk to your kids. Don't be afraid to ask your child directly about suicide. Asking about suicide doesn't cause suicide. If anything, it saves lives. And Dr. Jenkins says things like irritability, withdrawing from activities, and a change in friends could all be signs your child is depressed. The Little Hoover Commission is holding a webinar on this issue next month. We have that information as well as information for those resources I mentioned at CBS8.com. Just click on the help button. So, Kirsten, you and I were talking during the break. Yeah. A really, really big problem. I yeah. don't think a lot of us realize how bad it is. Yeah, I heard that statistic. Again, I want to repeat it for you guys. Among children under 18, mental health in California is now the leading cause of hospitalization. Exactly. And when he said that during the interview, I actually had to stop him and say, what did you just say? And that's just a sad truth. And by the way, those depression screenings at Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. they do that automatically for any child. Last year in 2020 at Radies, just at Radies, just in the ER, 3,000 children tested positive during that depression screening, which means wow. those screenings showed that 3,000 children in the ER were experiencing some sort of depression. So that we really so need to pay attention to this. Yeah.